log in to Jenkins using GitHub. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.3. Now let's go take a look at the plugin that we need to install in order to log in using GitHub. The plugin name is GitHub Authentication. You'll notice here for our setup, we will first need to set up an application within GitHub. Once we get that set up, then we'll go in and modify our security realm to use that application. So let's go over to our controller. We'll click on Manage Jenkins, Plugins, and under Installed Plugins, we'll look for GitHub-O, and we'll see that the GitHub Authentication plugin is installed. Let's go over to my GitHub account, and within the GitHub account, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Developer Settings. On this page, let's go ahead and click on OAuth Apps, and then click on Register a New Application. For my application name, I'm going to name it the same as my controller, which in this case is J11. For my homepage URL, I'm going to go ahead and specify the URL for the controller. So I'll go back over to the controller, click on Dashboard. I'll copy this URL and paste it into homepage URL. We're gonna skip the application description, and then we need to set the authorization callback URL. Well, let's go back over to the documentation, and we can see that the documentation has the base URL plus security realm slash finish login. So let's go ahead and copy this part of the URL. We'll come back into our application. We'll paste that in. And then let's go ahead and grab our homepage URL and put it in front. And then we'll remove that extra slash. So what we have is our base URL slash security realm slash finish login. Let's go ahead and click on register application. Now, once you go to the page after register application, you'll see a client ID, and then you'll have to generate a new client secret. What you'll need to do is copy that client ID and create that client secret and put it off to the side because we'll use those when we set up our configuration within our controller. Now that I've created a client secret, let's go ahead and go back over to the controller and set up our integration with GitHub. So we'll go back to the controller, manage Jenkins, and we'll go down to security. Under the security realm, we'll select GitHub Authentication Plugin. Now for this setup, since we are using github.com, the GitHub Web URI and the GitHub API URI values that are already in the fields are correct. Now if you click on help, what you'll see is if you're using GitHub Enterprise, you should enter the URL to the web UI root of your GitHub installation. The same thing for the GitHub API URI, except in addition, you'll be changing what the specific path to the API is. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We'll paste in the client ID, and then we will also go ahead and paste in the client secret. Now for the OAuth scopes, let's go back over to the documentation. If you scroll down the documentation, you'll see a section specifically right here the recommended scopes are designed for using both authentication and authorization functions in the plugin. If only authentication is being used, which is what we're doing for this video, then the scope can be further limited to either no scope or just user colon email. So let's go back over to what the prefill values are. In this case, I have a read org and I have a user colon email. Let's go ahead and only leave it for user email. So we'll get rid of the leading one and repo. So the OAuth scope that I'm setting it's just user colon email. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now at this point, I'm still using the previous authentication process, which was the Jenkins user database. In order to start using the GitHub authentication, I first need to go ahead and log out. Now we can see here, you're now logged out of Jenkins. However, you have not been logged out of GitHub. Well, let's go ahead and click on the dashboard URL. What we'll see here is that we need to first authorize the authentication with J11, that's my application over in GitHub. So I'll say authorize Darren Pope. It'll redirect me back over to my application. And now I'm logged in using my GitHub credentials. You'll also notice in the upper right hand corner that my full name is there. That full name is coming from GitHub. If I go ahead and click on configure, what I'll see is my full name is there. And I can also see that my email address was pulled over from GitHub. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.